about the zombies. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. There's a good question. I gotta stop looking into oh, wait, the sun. All right. What's your question? She has a question. Sunglasses. Don't put them on. All right. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. So are you saying that it's? This is the first I have a gay cousin, and he believes in God. And he what? And he believes in God. Then he should obey him. And he does. And I think that God wants everyone to be happy. So should you be killed for wearing two different kinds of clothes? Exactly. He needs to turn from his sin. Just because that sin gives him pleasure. Well, the Bible says it is. So, so I'll take God's word over your personal opinion. Is homosexuality a sin, or is it just an act of sodomy? Homosexuality. Actually, uh, it talks about it talks about the the malakoi and and our sinakoitai are both the effeminate and the uh, so the one so a man who acts effeminate acts like a woman and the act the person who's doing the act of sodomy are both are both against God's law. What two guys love each other, but they never shave sodomy? They're not they're not loving each other. That's lust because they've been given a, again. Romans, you guys need to. You guys need to. All right, we gotta continue on. Continue on. Romans, continuing on in Romans chapter eleven. In Romans chat. Uh, Romans chapter one. I'm sorry. It continues on from where I was talking about it, and it says that it says that for this cause, because people knew God existed, but but God knew God existed, but they were defiant to God and they refused to be thankful. They refused to be thankful. You're free to walk away. You're free to walk away. You can't. But it says, yeah, it says for this matter. cause, it says for this cause, God gave them up under their vile affections. Yeah. Yeah. For this cause, God gave them up under their vile affections. Uh, the, the women did exchange the natural use of the woman, and likewise also the men exchanging the use of the woman for uh, men with men, doing that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the, the penalty of their error, which was due. Romans chapter 1, Jude chapter 1, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, uh, all these places, all these places to talk about uh, about homosexuality being a sin but it's not just that it's liars thieves okay. fornicators okay. drunkards so do you think that it's okay for people to judge someone based on who they love oh, yeah. they they're not loving you someone they're, you, because they're being defiant to God turn the camera they're being there. defiant to God <laughs> <laughs> they're being defiant to God is what they're doing you know what okay. I wish but I highly that, doubt that you're having you make out sessions and, and, and you're doing <laughs> violent sexual things with them. Don't so touch my love. stuff. Did you get her consent to film her? I don't need your consent to film you. You're, no, I don't. You're free to walk away. You are more than welcome. You're more than welcome to free to walk away. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, you do not. No, you're free to walk away. Don't touch my stuff. I You're can. free to walk away. No, you can't touch. I can. Oh, I can't film you, but you can touch yeah, my stuff. This is this is why I have it. This is why I have it because of vile sinners like you. Of vile sinners like you. Because of what you're doing. This is why. This is why we have cameras. This is why we have cameras. Go ahead. My hand. My one hand's on the pole, and the other's on a camera. Have at it. This. You wonder why I have a camera. You wonder why I have a camera. Oh, you're so proving me wrong that you're not a vile sinner. You just insulted that. him. Yeah, because he has a po you have a potty mouth. You're, you're you, have, you have a violent attitude and you have a potty mouth. Okay, I have a potty mouth. I suppose your know, beliefs you on people's lips. Oh, you can, you're more than oh, welcome oh, to walk away. Back off, buddy. You're more than welcome to walk away. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Jesus Jesus said that, uh, um, that out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. I know. So if you have a sewer for a heart, you'll have a potty for a mouth. Yeah, but and the Bible also says that one day man will have to give an account for every idle word that they've spoken. So every word, every word that you speak, you'll have to give an account. You will have to give an account for every idle word that you speak. So swear words, when you, when you, you know, when you make, uh, make, you know, obscene, obscene jokes or double entendres and all of that. That's, okay. You're gonna have to give an account for all that. I will too. Sorry. I will have to give an account. I will have to give an account for every idle but word that I speak. Where in the Bible does it say that swear words are actually bad words? Hold on a second. I, I just told you. Jesus said. Jesus said. Jesus said. Out of the over, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. Video All right, everyone, yeah, shut up. I've got law, the law right the here. The law he's talking about is about <laughs> telephones, not about video right. recording. So, as long as the camera is in plain sight, he is allowed to record you. So, oh, so, so Wait, let me ask you. No, no, I mean.
how, why, if Jesus was a Jew, why did he have to start a new religion? Or I guess, did Jesus start a religion? No, he didn't just start. Like, oh, Jesus was awesome. No, religion, guys, religion is, is man trying to reach God by their own good works, so, by their so, own. No, but it, with, by saying that, you're saying it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to be Christian. You're just saying you have to believe in something. So you're so, if somebody's Hindu and they believe in something higher than themselves, then they'll be going to heaven. Well, the problem, one of the problems with Hindus is that they believe in reincarnation, but the but Bible says, but the Bible says, like well, they believe, they believe that you're going to come back time and time again, maybe an animal, maybe, uh, what happens you know, you maybe, die in heaven? well, Jesus, the Bible in the book of Hebrews says it is appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. But that's not what Hinduism believes. Hinduism believes you're going to get a chance to do it over and over again and get it right. So when but folks, Jesus said he was the only way. Acts 4.12 says, Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That's hey, it. So, and Jesus claimed to be God. He claimed that he was going to die and raise himself up on the third day, and he pulled it off. Guys, here's a, here's a Wait, thought. Can, can hold you, on, hold on. Here's a thought. Without quoting the Bible. Can you quote anything else other than the Bible? I'm not interested to, to come argument. up here and give you my opinion. My opinion means nothing. Well, my, the only thing that... I, awesome. my, my, my entire foundation... My entire foundation is the Bible. So that my opinion, my my opinion, my opinion would be, my opinion would be, live and let live, do whatever you want. If it was my opinion, like I said, I wouldn't be out here. I wouldn't be out here doing this. But it's 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 good to warn the wicked. When when the rich man, the rich man and Lazarus died, and and the rich man went to hell, and Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom in paradise. We know that the rich man was one. He was denied a drop of water, but his second request was that was that he could go and. Warn, that he could have Lazarus go and warn his five brothers not to go to that terrible place. So it's loving to warn the wicked. Even people in hell want to warn people not to go there. What was your question about porn? Yeah, what, why is it bad? Why is porn bad? Why would you think it's good? Because it makes you happy. That's what makes it wrong. Like everything it makes you happy? Happy. <laughs> so if, so if this guy punching you in the face made him happy, does that make it right? Just because something makes you happy? to this guy, I would expect him to punch me in the face. <laughs> no, just if it makes him happy. Just, no. Porn is no, porn. A dick, I What's wrong with porn? One, <laughs> one, is, uh, one is that Jesus said that if your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and cast it from you. Better to go through life well, with one eye than to go in hell with, with another. Who makes he, porn say that? he also said if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off cast it from you. Better to go through life maimed than to go in hell. That's, so that's why it's a very good good Bible verse about pornography. You if your eye well. and your hand cause you to sin, it's better that you gouge them out and cut them off than to be cast into hell. That's how serious That's how serious Jesus was about, about sin. But pornography. Pornography, and it's odd that a, that a woman, usually that comes from guys, because guys tend to have a bigger problem with pornography. But one of the problems, uh, but, but guys, mostly... And mostly guys have a bigger problem with pornography and women, you know, pornography to women is gossip. Gossip is the big right problem that women have. Don't guys have don't guys one. don't have too much of a problem with gossip as much women do. And like I said earlier, I don't know how long you guys have hung around me. I've used this analogy before, but but dogs, dogs will drink up antifreeze out of a driveway. You know, it, it has a sweet taste to them. They're, yeah, they're dumb and they'll, and they'll lick it up because it tastes sweet. But they taste it and it tastes sweet. And They'll they keep no licking up antifreeze out of a driveway and it tastes sweet to them no and it's good. Thought. It's like, good. But so, what so they don't so realize is it's yeah. destroying them from within. Yeah. It's shutting down their kidneys. It's it's corroding their brain. You then you're God gonna you're gonna have a dead dog. You're gonna have a dead dog Where, in the driveway. The and that's what pornography Where, and gossip is. So pornography is to men and gossip to women. It's like a dog licking up antifreeze in a driveway and it has a sweet taste. It has a sweet taste. Oh, but the Bible says that you lick up sin. That you drink that you drink up sin like it's water. You drink up your iniquity like water. And that's what's wrong. It corrodes your mind. And with these guys, with these guys, it's, what's going to happen is that they're going to start out with simple stuff, and then that's not going to, you know, they're not going to be able to get their freak on with the simple stuff enough. Then they're going to have to get into weirder and weirder yeah, sites. Like the then they're going to have to get into weirder and weirder <laughs> fetish stuff. Yeah. yeah. Then you're going to end up like this guy, whatever, probably watches fetish sites, things like that, you know. BDSM. But uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> they'll reach a point. They'll reach a point where you won't be able to satisfy a guy. Yeah. You'll end up marrying a guy. You marry a guy that's that's been hooked on porn. 
horn for a decade, you won't be able to satisfy him. You won't be able to do enough that's going to satisfy him. And that's how gossip is to women. Gossip will corrode, corrode you from within, ladies. If you hug and hug and smile at your friends, and then as soon as they walk out the door, you're backstabbing, you're talking to them about behind their back. That's corrosive. That's corrosive. It'll destroy you from within. It'll just, so that's what pornography does. It destroys you. It corrodes you. No, it doesn't. And, it, and Jesus said, Jesus said, that you have heard it said of old that thou shalt not commit adultery. I like but I say to you that if you so much as look at a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery already in your heart. So that's how high God's standard is. If I look with lust, if I look with lust, it's the same as me committing adultery on my wife. If, I, if I'm looking at lust, if I'm out on the beach and lusting after some girl in a bikini, it is no different than me taking her up into a hotel room and banging her. No, it's not. Not in God's eyes. That's how high God's standard is. You and God penetrate. said, God so said, you, you have heard kill. it said of old that thou shalt not kill. So but he says, but I say unto you that if you so much as yeah, hate so your brother, you if you, you hate asexual? your brother without cause, that you're guilty of murder. So should I just be asexual and not be attracted to anyone? Uh, that'd probably be a, a good, uh, that'd probably be a, um, a gift oh, to I, women. That'd be a gift oh, to women. That'd be a gift to women. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a gift to women. If that camera wasn't there, we weren't here. I would deck the shit out of you, dude. I would fucking put you to the ground right there. It's okay, Paul. It's okay, Paul. Well, sorry, he go, just, ahead. go ahead and leave. All right. You're all right. Can we get in the race? No, leave, leave this way. All right. Appreciate all right. it. He just Thank you, All right. Yeah. I got a question. <laughs> sure. Wait, wait, wait. Your purpose here, like, I just, oh, I don't, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, is to, is to tell people that Christ wants to save them from hell, right? Yeah. Okay, so if most of the people here are going to walk away, and they're going to walk away mad, and they're going to walk away frustrated, and they're going to walk away confused, and they're going to think that God is a God who hates them, then is that effective evangelism? Uh, there are many ways. It's a good question. We get that's probably one of the most common questions we get. There are many ways to evangelize. Now, when I talk, when I talk to people, when I talk to coworkers at work about about Jesus, I don't bring my banner and I don't bring a bullhorn. And when I talk to a relative at Thanksgiving, I don't shout and have a bullhorn and a banner. But it's a different it's a different approach. And there's many many times I'll go to bus stops, I'll go to the mall, I'll talk to people one on one, and I do many different ways. But this is a good way. Today is about reaching as many people as we possibly can. And the Bible says to consider the goodness and the severity of God. Consider the goodness and the severity of God. And so what happens is if all we come out here, if you think in, in America in 2011, people have not heard the message that God loves you, people have heard it so much that it doesn't even mean anything to them anymore. So our message out here is that yes, God is merciful, He's loving, He's long-suffering, and He's kind, and He wants to forgive you. But if you will not receive receive God's grace and mercy, if you will not allow God to pour out His grace and His mercy upon you and you take your last breath as an unrepentant sinner, then I'm also here to warn you that He will pour out His wrath upon you. God is going to pour out one thing or another on each and every one of us. Either His grace and His mercy on this side of eternity, or His wrath once you take your last breath. And that's a good message. And if we do nothing else, but to, if you're a Christian, if we do nothing else than to give you a springboard to go back and talk to people and say, what would you think about what those guys were saying? Man, were they crazy or what? Well, good. I've given you an opportunity to share the gospel. And Hundreds. We've had hundreds and hundreds of people that hey, have come up to like us to and are talking and are um, talking about the, the things of God that wouldn't have been. Convert somebody to Christianity. The whole thing. My job's not to convert them. Okay, if you want to save them, whatever you're out here to do. My job the is to thing, preach. The thing is not to come out here and insult everybody. You're just insulting everybody's not only intelligence but integrity, and it's not helpful to anyone. The way. I wasn't insulted. Wait, me or him? I wasn't I either. Hear any insulted. Well, okay, well, he's sorry. He's a, I, I can't speak Well, if you're so insulted, walk away. I don't have a chain. Do I have a chain tied no, to anyone's foot? No, but just like foot? you, I would like to preach what I have to say, I There's suppose. some open grass. Why do you want to steal my crowd? There's some open grass. Okay, if go, anybody what, would what, like to go what's over your, there, what's your faith? What's your faith? What's your, what's uh, your world? I'm an atheist. Oh, okay. <laughs> go over there and tell everybody there is no God. I like, I want an agnostic. I want an agnostic preacher. I want an agnostic preacher because agnostic in means I don't know. There I want someone to go over right? there and say, I don't the know. Universe extends forever. I don't know. Look at this guy. Steals so, it. Here's an atheist Italy. stealing Italy. my Italy. crowd. Is Steal my. You're, you're a thief. You're a thief. <laughs> and thieves oh, cannot inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> 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 Mixing of churches. <laughs> <laughs>